Hello, good morning and welcome to Open Forum 108.8, the most listened radio program in Latin America, where social controversies, policy issues and news in general are discussed. Today my colleague Miranda Gonzalez and me, Matias Sandoval, will comment on a topic that is causing a lot of social controversy mainly in Mexico. That's right, I'm talking about cultural appropriation, which refers to the situation when a culture dominant is appropriating elements of a culture considered marginalized, inferior, emerging, or weak. It is mainly spoken or it is mainly spoken of oppressed minorities which are socially considered wrongly inferior, such as indigenous, Arab, Afro-descendant, among many others. It is necessary to clarify that this phenomenon tends to take advantage of cultural appropriation for commercial purposes, usually without mention or credit to the creators of origin. For those who are not aware that, are, that there have been already several classes of cultural appropriation, as well as the case of Isabel Marant, a French designer who plagiarized a Mexican indigenous designs, it is said that he copied the original Wipil of Santa Maria de Tlahuitotelpec and was accused of not respecting a design that is part of the indigenous culture. In short, he appropriated a biocultural heritage. Did he not look? In fact, um, and it is more in 2016, the brand Rhapsody was also accused of appropriating the design of a traditional Zapotec blouse and received several demands. And how to forget that moment in Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2012 when the well-known model Carly Claus paraded with a, pl a plume of feathers on her head, which caused a huge controversy given that this type of plume is sacred to the Native American culture, given that each pen represented each battle fought. However, it was one of the few cases in which they offered a, pu a public apology. And you know what's worse? That these brands usually seem innocent, but they ignore the original symbolism of what they are copying. Usually when the designers put certain indigenous symbols, as well as the patterns of the maguey, the sun, the sidewalks, the mountains, do not know what they mean, and this is really sad. Today, we have the pleasure of receiving the expert in the subject, Isis Mesa, who will explain some realistic and applicable so solutions within Mexico and its reality to this great social problem. But while it is preparing, we are going to a commercial cut. Secadora, tenazas, daña mucho el cabello, ¿verdad? Yo necesito más que un acondicionador. Mucho más. Nuevo acondicionador diario 3 Minute Miracle de Pantene. Penetra en tu cabello para reparar hasta 3 meses de daño en solo 3 minutos. Tu cabello más suave y brillante, de adentro hacia afuera. Cámbiate a Pantene y notarás la diferencia. Pantene es mucho más que un acondicionador. And we are back. Good morning, expert. What a pleasure to have you here with us. No, the pleasure is mine, but call me Isis. Perfect. And then tell us, Isis, since we talked about some aspects of the topic to our audience, what solutions would you propose to stop the appropriation, the cultural appropriation? Each morning I get up, I die a little. Can barely stand on my feet. Look, I would propose that artists give credits and that they speak about the meaning of what they are doing. So it is not understood as a robbery, but as an act of admiration to a particular culture. Or also, not to do it as well. It is just the same as if I took the idea of using my hair just like you. Would you feel okay with me stealing your style or would you prefer me, prefer me telling people that I was inspired with the way you arranged your hair? and that I like it a lot, or just change my style, why copy? Very interesting, Isis. And I have a question. If someone were to commit another plagiarism of this, it would become an illegal case? Let me tell you something. Delegates from all, almost 2,000 countries met in Geneva as a part of international specialized committee within the 
WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization, section of the United Nations to discuss the illegal implications that can be implemented to protect indigenous property from aboriginal designs to community language. language. This is a request that has been made to the United Nations since 2001, long before Mark Jacobs combed his mother's with dreadlocks and urban outfitters set out underwear with tribal designs. It took 16 years from the matter to reach the UN tables, but according to what James Anaya Dean of Laws of the University of Colorado told the co committee, the United Nations will oblique states to create criminal, criminal and civil procedures effective to recognize and prevent the non-consensual taking and the possession. Thank you very much for your attention, Isis. We are waiting for you in an early edition. Thank you very much for giving me this space. Now, finally, we want to know what you think. Call 777-132-4675 or 777-321-123. And we will answer your call. Tell us about your opinion on this topic. But meanwhile, another commercial cut and we return. Ya no hay lugar. Con canelitas marinela y su deliciosa combinación de azúcar y canela, date el antojo de salirte con la tuya. Canelitas marinela. Ligera, puedes. Aligérate del que dirán y avanza. Buena font. Ligera, puedes. And we are back again. We have several registered calls. Let's see. Hi, welcome to 108.8. Can you hear me? What's your name? Hi, I hear you perfect. My name is Santiago. Hello Santiago, tell us about what do you think about cultural appropriation? Well, I think it's a matter of real importance and that it should be illegal. Designers are supposed to be original and create new things. They should not be taking ideas that do not belong to them, let alone giving credit. I completely agree with you Santiago. And do you think that there, there is only one cultural appropriation in clothes? According to me, there are different types, as well as tribal tattoos, African dresses, uh, costumes, 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 <laughs> etc. Not only clothes. That's right. And to finish, what solution would you propose? Well, the, the solution that would propose cultural appropriation would be precisely the cultural exchange. You do not take oppressively random elements of a culture, but you are invited to uh, invited by or invite a community to be part of a custom or cultural right. That is already a mutual enrichment, not an an indirectional theft. Uh, investigate, read books, travel, interact with people from other cultures, learn about traditional culture. It is the right way if you are interested in a culture, if you really show admiration and respect. Thank you very much for your opinion, Santiago. We hope you will call us again. Not at all. Thanks to you. We have the exact time for our last call. Let's see. Hi, welcome to 100.8. Can you hear me? What's your name? I hear you well. My name is Andrea. Hi Andrea, what do you think about cultural appropriation? I think the expression of admiration is not bad and sometimes doing bad actions does not make you a bad person. However, I think that they should give credit to the creators. And Andrea, I have a curious question. If you put yourself in the shoes of the designer Isabel Marant, whom we already mentioned, what would you do if they were suing you about this plagiarism? If I were Isabel, I would offer a public apology, both to my buyers and to the indigenous people. 
Thank you very much, Andrea. Represent your opinion. No, thanks to you. See you soon.